Hi, today's book review is on this one. It's called The Guitarist's Music Theory Book. Uh, I think the series is, is Watch and Learn. Um, this is by someone called Peter Vogel. Uh, and I think it's possibly only available on Amazon. I think it's published by Amazon, I think, or printed by Amazon. Um, and it looks like, looking at the back of it, that there, there's a few others in the series. Now, one of them's a scale book. I'm going to have another look at that one and do a review of that. But anyway, this one's just music theory for guitarists. Similar kind of idea to some of the other ones I've looked at, like the No Ball series, which I really like. Um, this one's very good. It's another really good one I'd, I'd really recommend. It's um, If you don't want to spend too much money, then you might have seen my, my reviews of the, the No Ball series of um, theory books. But if you don't want to spend too much, get this one. Um, because that the no ball one is in a, a series of three or maybe four I think and they are very good and you can see my reviews of those they are excellent but this is really good this is equally good um, a bit there's a bit less in this one because it's just one book um, it covers probably more than the first no ball one but it uh, doesn't cover as much as that whole series not as in depth um, but it's really well written and the actual content of this is, is very good. Uh, it covers all the basics really of, of music theory from a guitarist point of view. Um, anything from how scales are sort of made on quite a basic level. It talks about how scales are made and intervals and uh, how chords are made and how chords relate to scales, that kind of thing. The number system for sort of reading chord charts, so like one four five and one six two five, that kind of thing. Explains what all that means. Gives examples. Um, I haven't really got any criticisms. The criticisms of this this one. Um, I've only had a quick look through it. I suppose one very very small thing, um, because it only seems to be a single theory book. It doesn't lead on to another one not that I'm aware of. Uh, some of the things in here are maybe a little bit basic and could could be developed a bit more but I suppose that, that would be a, a, another book possibly um, even if there isn't one now maybe he's going to write another one uh, so an example of that would be there's a, a little bit talking about different chords and there's a bit on diminished chords and some of the really big um, important things to do with diminished chords aren't mentioned in here it just explains what basically what a diminished chord is but that's in keeping with the whole book really it doesn't go in too much detail but it's enough for most most of the things it talks about so it's a really good one uh, i can't say too much more about it but i'd, I'd recommend it it's not very expensive and it, it's um it's, it's very well written so it's the guitarist's music theory book by peter vogel thanks